lovely guests uh, That's right. uh, returning to the Late Show tonight. Uh, from Succession, Brian Cox is going to be here in just a moment. And yeah. the lovely, the talented uh, Carrie Russell from the new show The Diplomat uh, premieres on Netflix. She's going to be out here in just a little while. So that's fun. That's fun. Folks, uh, if you watch the show, you know I spend most of my time right over there in the news factory shaping the day's most topical brushed aluminum into a resonant story shell <laughs> that as well did not crimp, then adorned with fine snares to be played M. Simma with my batucada and produced for you the perfectly tuned Kaisha Tamborji Samba that is my monologue. <laughs> But sometimes I wake up under a horse in a traveling circus, snatch some rusty soup pots from the freaks, and stretch a scrap of discarded tent over them to wail away on the unwanted visitor's doom bongo of news that are my segment. <laughs> Meanwhile, I did my best. M. Sima? M. Sima? <laughs> Meanwhile. In giant baked bean news, two men from London have created a giant baked bean. Oh, no, now British food might get a reputation for being unappealing. <laughs> the pair went viral for their breakfast abomination, which is made of two tins of Heinz baked beans mashed into one giant tomato sauce-soaked baked bean. Their secret ingredient? Just enough weed to make it seem like a good idea. Meanwhile, staying in jolly old the United Kingdom, Kate Middleton has shocked fans with a red Easter manicure breaking royal tradition. <laughs> that headline again, the British royal family has stupid traditions. <laughs> Meanwhile, <laughs> dummy, you big dummy. Meanwhile, speaking of Easter, according to a new study by Consumer Reports, Peeps marshmallow candies contain a known carcinogen. But to protect consumers, they taste horrible. <laughs> Meanwhile, in Alaska, healthcare workers were shocked when a moose wandered into an Anchorage hospital. <laughs> really? Shocked? I'll be shocked if you wandered out without filling out 10 pages of insurance. <laughs> mm. Mm. <laughs> Meanwhile, over on the sport court, a new study shows that climate change is leading to more major league home runs, attributing at least 500 additional homers from 2010 to 2019 to Earth's human-made warming. And, and I'm being told the New York Yankees have offered carbon dioxide a $400 million contract. <laughs> Because, stop it. Because... <laughs> stop it. Because warm air... Because warm air is less dense, it's simple physics that in hot air, baseballs carry farther. So the study projects that if current climate trends continue, there will be 467 more home runs per season by the year 2100. That stat could be tempered by the fact that by 2100, most spring training will either be underwater or on fire. <laughs> Meanwhile... <laughs> Meanwhile, in honor of Easter, Subway announced a limited-time collaboration called the Cadbury Cream Egg Easter Sandwich. Let's take a look. You know what? I think I'd rather have the cancer peep. <laughs> Yeah. Meanwhile, according to a new study, Gen Z's favorite snack is not what you'd expect. So it's not a quesadilla stuffed with Tide Pods and whatever the kids are doing on Euphoria. <laughs> Turns out it's Cheez-Its and Goldfish, a snack category known as dry, salty orange. <laughs> While we might associate teenagers with bold and flashy fried snacks, the tamer taste of Goldfish and Cheez-Its might be part of their appeal. Plus, Cheez-Its provide 100% of your daily recommended allowance of it. <laughs> Meanwhile... <laughs> it. It. Meanwhile, 
if you bought a treadmill desk during the pandemic, are you okay? Because that's weird. Also, toss out that dinosaur, Grandpa, because the hot new trend in the workplace exercise is the walking room, a giant treadmill that can fit eight to ten people. Yes, it's all the anxiety of a staff meeting combined with all the chafing of a long hike. <laughs> Let's take a look at the walking room. Oh, my God, no. Let's see it from another angle. What's with the people... What's the, with the people walking behind them? Oh, don't mind me. I hate to see you work, but I love to watch you work it. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, it won't be too crowded because the system is described as a 10 by 12 foot moving carpet. A moving carpet? Why, it, it sounds so magical. I can show you these files. Take you spreadsheet by spreadsheet. BCC the whole C-suite on this presentation slide. We'll be right back with Brian Cox.